Hey guys, it's Vanessa. I'm here today with a video for you guys on the infamous Shiseido Facial Cottons. So I had heard about these, I'm sure as many of you did, from Michelle1218 uh, originally. But since then I have seen several people talk about these and I've actually read about these as a lot of makeup artists must-haves. Um, they definitely have a cult following. And it's just kind of funny to think because they're just cotton pads, right? What's the big deal? Um, but I've heard tons of people who love these and also kind of related to this, uh, the Chanel cotton pads also get a big hype. So I was very hesitant to purchase these because, um, t you know, 10 bucks, 10 bucks for something that's going in the trash. So I was like, how great could these really be? And it made me want to put these to the test and see if they are worth the hype. So when Michelle first mentioned these, I think I even commented on her. She had said that like the main reason that she, you know, had no problem doing this or the main thing that got her thinking that it was worth it was that these are 100% actual cotton where your um, traditional cotton, you know, inexpensive cotton rounds or cotton pads, you don't really think about it, but they're not really all cotton and they have um, chemicals on them, you know, they kind of bleach them, that sort of thing. So, you know, she's very into kind of more natural skincare, hair care and that sort of thing. So that was definitely a selling point for her. So when she said that, that reminded me that I used to buy organic cotton um, pads from a certain company that I can't think of. And um, I, in the past, had purchased them from uh, Whole Foods. So I was like, I wonder if that's the same thing. So I um, started being more mindful of that and I never bought these but I did start buying um, the organic cotton rounds which I have right here from CBS um, and I definitely like these much better but then it just got me thinking you know do, is this all hype do, it doesn't really make a difference um, so let's you know compare it so now I have one two three four um, more inexpensive brands to compare the Shiseido to and obviously I have the Shiseido so first up is the Shiseido ones um, like I said these are 100% cotton there's 165 of them per pack and I paid $9.25 I think they're about $9.25 I got mine at Mitsua but I think you can get them anywhere if I got it at Mitsua I'm pretty sure you could get it anywhere Shiseido is sold and um, you can definitely get them at support and support.com so yes, 165 for 925. And they look like this. It's just like a nice, uh, really smooth, thick cotton square. Very thick. Um, and you'll see with the other ones compared, it definitely is very thick. Um, it's almost like a comparison of like single ply to two ply toilet paper. This is definitely like two ply toilet paper. So it's really nice, really smooth. It definitely you can instantly feel a difference from like a cheaper cotton pad. Um, so yeah, that's the Shiseido one. The next one I have is the Whole Foods brand, 365 Every Day. And these are organic cotton, uh, cotton rounds. All the other ones I'm going to show are cotton rounds, but it's kind of the same thing. Cotton is cotton, right? Um, so yeah, these are organic. You get 100 for about $4. And those look like this. Also have some layers to them. They're not quite, um, as thick as the Shiseido ones but you do have some layers they are soft not as soft as the Shiseido ones and these have a, a print like kind of textures and grooves on them so we have those the next ones are the CVS um, organic cotton rounds and these you get 80 rounds for about 349 I believe and these look like this these are certified organic they're very soft um, very similar to the Shiseido ones because they're completely smooth, very soft, and they have the layers. They're not very thin um, like some of the other ones. So these to me um, in looks and feel are the closest to the Shiseido. And then the next two are also from CVS, but they're just different options just so I can compare and show you the differences. So this is the CVS Premium Cotton Rounds. These are, they say they're 100% cotton, but not organic. Um, again, 80 rounds, and these are about 349 as well, or 342. So with these, you get one textured side, and then you get one smooth side. This one feels soft, but certainly not as soft as the Shiseido, um, and certainly not as soft as the organic CBS ones, um, and about as soft as the, as the Whole Foods ones. And then the next ones that are almost identical to the premium cotton rounds are just the regular old CVS cotton rounds. And they just say that. They have the cotton symbol, but nowhere does it say that it's 100% cotton. 
Um, you get 80 rounds, and these are cheaper. These are about $3.42, so a couple cents cheaper. Currently, CVS has a buy one, get one half off. I picked these up today to complete um, my little experimentation with these. So, right off the bat, just from looks alone, these are going to be your most comparable dupe to the Shiseido ones, and that's the organic cotton rounds from CBS. These have been harder to find. I was buying these no problem for months, and then recently, I everywhere that these are like is always empty in every CBS that I go to, and I'm seeing the premium cotton rounds replace it. So I picked it up today to see if they are the same product, but they are not. Um, I have still seen these online, so you might want to check that out. Now, I put all of these through several tests. I did um, just regular water, I did toner, I did cleansing um, cleansing water, and then I also did a lotion to see how they hold up. So I'm just gonna kinda talk to you one by one, and I, I have some toner here that I'm going to uh, kinda wet the wipes as I talk them. So the first one is the Shiseido one. I just kinda got a little bit on there to show you. Um, you know if it rubs off or anything so I'm just gonna rub my hand like I would my face so with the Shiseido ones they're super soft when you're rubbing it on your face it almost feels like a spa treatment they're just really soft and gentle and nice um, I'm rubbing pretty hard right now like really hard and you'll see that you know it barely has like disintegrated normally you know you get like a lot of um, fluffies or at least I have in the past so this is kind of the end result after you've you know scrubbed down your face a bit it's definitely still intact they to me hold up uh, very well um, and obviously because it's a square versus a circle from all these options you do have the most surface space um, they do have a ton of layers but I don't find that to make a major difference the thing that I do think is interesting about it is that they never really fall apart they always look like they're about to but they don't peel apart um, when I stretch it in when they're wet if I go the length of the um, cotton pad like if I just go the same way that the lines are it's like almost indestructible like it doesn't come off but if I pull the other way it very easily rips apart you can see but it's it stays fluffy cotton but it does rip apart when it is um, wet fairly easy however on your face in everyday use I've noticed that it never gets to this point oh I also tested these with nail polish and this one did I do use 100% acetone so that could be different so this one did rip apart with my um with my nail polish remover this one was my least favorite so now with the uh, 365 the whole foods ones these to me um I don't know if it'll be the same on my hand these broke apart a lot faster um, than the Shiseido ones to me and they do still feel soft on the face but they are just a hair uh, scratchier than the Shiseido ones again rubbing really hard here so you can see kind of what it, you know how it falls apart so these kind of fall you can see it's already kind of falling apart a little bit these fall apart a little bit quicker than the um, Shiseido ones and no matter how you pull them apart these kind of start uh, ripping pretty easy to me um, and then they get very like I don't know like it'll start with the hole like this and then it'll just start pilling so I don't really like these that much these however were my favorite for nail polish I think because they are so um, not so rough but just um, with the organic options it is the rougher one so these did work really well with the nail polish but these do fall apart and I think it's like the it breaks at where the lines were the pattern of the pattern the next one is the CVS certified organic and we're gonna do these try a different hand now so these are um, the ones that I always use I've been using them for months and I love them um, I think they're super soft very very soft and um, they feel really nice they're a great price um, when you break out like the price per unit the Shiseido and the uh, CVS organic there isn't really much of a difference in price per unit um, but you do get more for more money with the Shiseido like at the point of purchase and with the CVS you are paying less for less how so I've rubbed pretty hard here and this is how these are looking these to me stay the most intact the most durable and they're the hardest to break apart they kind of stretch out a lot but it takes a while before it actually rips apart these are more durable than the Shiseido ones um, they really just keep like stretching until they finally kind of rip but these to me are they stay 
they stay in place the hardest or the longest and they never ever get to this point kind of like the Shiseido ones however I have noticed with the Shiseido ones that they're very easy to like rip apart or these especially when they're dry it's like it's really hard to um, yank it apart but these are the most durable in that sense and these are my favorite um, kind of overall from this whole experiment so I definitely really like those now the premium cotton rounds are harder than the um than the organic ones so for some reason they, they say they're non-irritating they're 100 percent cotton but they but you can see here this is what always happens with traditional um cotton pads like you soak them and then they start getting weird and like pilly like this on your face when you're doing your nails they just really start breaking apart and these i think are junky like these to me are I would not purchase again now the last ones are just the plain old cotton rounds they don't say that they're premium they don't say they're organic they say nothing fancy they're just cotton rounds quilted for strength softer and stronger and gentle on the skin again with the little shape on them rub 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 now these definitely there is a difference in the feel these feel the roughest than all the other ones um, and I feel uh, in my experiment earlier with even the lotion, these had gotten pillier than um, any of the other ones, minus this one. These are kind of like right up the same alley. You can see here, they start just kind of deteriorating like this. And this in the past has been my experience on my face. Um, it's like, and then this happens a lot where like this weird smooth layer falls apart and it's just pointless, right? I think the Shiseido ones are worth the hype. They are expensive, but you do get quite a bit in here, and they are going to last you a while. Um, they, it's they're pretty hard for them to fall apart. However, I would hold off and buy the CVS organic ones because to me they are very very similar. The only difference really is, in my opinion, these come in a square and um, are slightly thicker than the uh, CVS organic ones. They're slightly thicker, however, um, they perform exactly the same. You can see them side by side. They perform exactly the same. They have the multiple layers, just like this one, that don't fall apart. They both have the same kind of almost identical surface to them. They're both extremely soft on the skin, super gentle, super nice. This one is a hair softer, really, but not much of a difference like i don't think i would repurchase the shiseido but i'm not upset that i purchased it i didn't take this home and i wasn't like nine dollars are you effing kidding me um but i will say that for all of the like ones i have i probably spent about the same i did with these at the end of tax so there that is something to be said if you are on a budget i would highly recommend the cvs organic cotton rounds to me they are exactly like the shiseido like give or take a couple steps um, and these are, like I said, about $3.42 normally, but you can always get them, buy one, get one half off. And then you would be getting um, the one one sixty, so five less than the Shiseido. So the price difference on these isn't that much when you think about it, considering you're getting half the amount here than you are here, like a little a little more than half or a little less than half the amount with the CBS because you're only getting 80 rounds for four dollars where here you're getting 165 for nine dollars they kind of average out to the same price because you could buy two of these and you're going to get five less from the shiseido so it's really a matter of personal preference also a matter of um i would say personal preference as well as um like money at the time like i always speak about this i know you can break these out price per unit like what it caught what each square cost and then if i bought two of these it would be about the same price as just buying this um which is true however if i'm at the store and i have five dollars in my pocket and these two things are in front of me this is what i can buy so when i'm talking about like how much money you have at the time i'm talking if you're being a budgetista that day the CVS organic rounds are for you but I would not turn my head to these they it seems like more money than it really is um, so I do think that these are worth the hype they are really good they work really nice they're super soft um, they hold up very well to every test I put them through except nail polish the nail polish is really not worth it but these are a drugstore brand um, that does the exact same job you're just going to pay for you're paying less and you're getting less product in here so keep that in mind um, again, look for the green 
one that says organic this is not the same thing these will fall apart this is definitely not the same thing this will fall apart and this is not 100 percent cotton in there at least this one says 100 percent cotton but it's not organic cotton so if you if you care about you know the best quality this would be your friend although i have to say the shiseido ones don't say organic at least mine don't say organic on them um these are organic they are soft um and i would say that they're a good like if you can't find the cvs i would try the 365 but i would not say that these are as directly comparable as the as the cvs ones these are a good alternative if you can't find these um and for whatever reason you don't want to get these these are not a bad alternative and you're you're paying about four dollars for a hundred of them so i think this is slightly the better value however they're not as soft they um don't hold up as well um but they do work better for nail polish so i know this is like all over the place super random and it's about cotton and as you can see i will never be buying cotton again because i have enough for a family of like eight and <laughs> these are the things that you do when you're a beauty blogger right however in summation are the shiseido facial cotton wipes worth it i would say yes i think if you've been thinking about them for whatever reason just because you've seen them on youtube and you want to have them go ahead and buy them they're not as ridiculous as uh as ridiculous as you think they're about the same price as a drugstore and they're better quality so yeah pick these up let me know what you think um let me know if you have any dupes for this or what your favorite cotton is um but honestly this cvs one you have to get the cvs it's the exact same thing i encourage any girls who love the shiseido to get the cvs and let me know like i said this one is just this is a hair softer like it just in your hand you can feel it this one is definitely by far softer but it is a very slight difference i think for um convenience and for people who cannot afford or cannot access the shiseido i think a very great alternative so yeah um let me know down below like i said your favorite cotton pads do you care about cotton pads have you tried the shiseido do you love them um and also let me know what is the most um ridiculous high-end item you have because i think this is like a ridiculous high-end item like it works well and it is worth the money but it's kind of funny to have like name brand cotton pads so let me know down below what the most ridiculous like luxury item you have talk to you guys later bye